So by getting Ricardo Cassini, suddenly this damn project was international. And so Chris Bonington's one of the, the greats of all time, British, uh, climbed in the Himalaya, climbed Everest, new routes on Everest, a great promoter. I think he published 50 or 80 books, just one of the you know, designed equipment, um, Sir Christian Bonington if I didn't say that, he's knighted, uh, major figure. So happy to get him. Hamish McGinnis, who just died last year, uh, kind of the father of modern ice climbing and uh, worked out the intricacies and the science of mountain rescue in the last century. Um, also friend and drinking partner with Sean Connery. Gwen Moffat, who's one of my favorites in this. Um, uh, yes, I would have had more women in this. There just weren't that as many women back in those days as there were men in the climbing game. But Gwen Moffat in England, she was in the army. Uh, 1945, pretty much the war was over, but she was still, she was a truck driver and she was still on the job, moving trucks around time had more or less come. She was driving down southern England somewhere and uh, she saw this handsome hitchhiker out on the road, dusty dirt road. And she pulled over and he got in. And she goes, where are you going? And he said, climbing. And that was the last the army saw of her or the truck. <laughs> they never got the truck back. And they never got her back. She went AWOL and continued to climb for the next 50 or 60 years, became the first female British mountain guide. Um, pretty significant because she wasn't a girl climber going with guys. She was doing stuff on her own, solo, doing big stuff uh, on her own. So she's pretty significant in the in climbing in general, but certainly females in climbing. And she's my favorite drinking partner when I'm in Cumbria. She's still around and I get the best emails from her. Um, you may have heard about the, well, I'll be telling you later about the charity that I'm doing for this talk. This is Doug Scott who started the charity in um, 35 years ago, I think, 1989. He uh, is British. This is in the Royal Geographic Society in London. Big Himalayan climber. He did climbs with Chris Bonington, who we just met uh, on Everest. Uh, ferocious climbs. Um, he and Chris Bonington, one of the best climbing stories ever is the Ogre incident. A very remote, high Himalayan peak that Bonington and Scott climbed, did the first ascent of, and just below the summit, Doug fell and snapped both ankles very badly. And they had this enormous mountain to get off of. And thus began a uh, week or two long project of just getting down off this mountain, uh, out of food, pretty much out of water, um, crawling on bloody stumps getting off this mountain and glaciers. And by the time they got to base camp, which had taken them a week, base camp gave them up for dead and there was no base camp anymore. And so they had to crawl and, you know, just miserable situation, more days until they found some, uh, uh, some locals who put him on a, you know, wicker basket and carried him more days until he could get on a helicopter. Got him, took him off to Skardu, which is in Pakistan. And as the helicopter was landing, it crash landed, but luckily not bad enough to kill anybody. But what an epic. I'm not doing it justice by the brevity in which I tell it.